machine in survival. Got a big piece of birch bark. Gonna make an acorn sifter. Stay tuned. Hello! <laughs> okay, so what I'm doing is I'm going to Hello. <laughs> I'm going to take off the outer layers. Can you help? Can you, yeah, can you pull that for me? Very nice. Of this birch bark. That way, can you pull that? So I can reveal the clean bark underneath. And this one too? And this mm -hmm. one too? Okay, so all I'm doing now is I'm just scraping the bark, just so I can get down a layer. I'm just scraping off all the dirt and everything from the outside of the tree, so I can get down a layer or it's nice and clean. Coincidentally, this fluffy bark scrapings is possibly the best tinder on the planet can with a fell it, rod. Can I touch it too? Sure, you can play with it, touch it. Is this this is? Yeah, if you put a spark in that from the fell rod, it will light up really easily to make fire. Right, so now I have the whole surface clean. All I'm going to do now is just take a smooth river rock. It's not really necessary, it's fine, but I'm going to just rub it a little bit with the green. And that will help really make it nice and fine, nice and clean, and help rub off any little pieces that might still be hanging on. And just basically just help polish it. And there we have it. So now I have a nice channel right here. Let's throw some acorn on here and see how it reacts. Right, so the purpose of an acorn sifter is that inside the acorn that I've pounded the first time there's large granules and this very fine powder and it's all just mixed in so what you do is you use the sifter to separate the granules from the powder Can I help daddy? Sure Come here, come put a little on here. Yes. Grab some of this and put it on here. There we go. Perfect, thank you. Got a little helper. All right, so the goal here is to figure out ways to move this. try to separate the chunks from the powder. All right, check this out. So, all along the side are large granules, all here. All along this side is very fine powder. So that's what we're after. We're after moving it in a way to separate the two.
I'll switch sides actually. So basically what I have on here is only fine powder. Let's see if I can get a light on here for you. You can see the acorn. This is very fine powder. It's basically acorn dust. that very fine dust so what I did was while I was tapping it on one end that with a slight angle down the small pieces the powder was traveling up and over to this side this ridge right here while the large chunks rolled down the hill ended up in here so you can see my bowl I have large granules, I have pebbles in here. And all the fine powder stayed on here. And this stuff is like, it's like pollen. So all of this doesn't need to be worked anymore. It's been separated. This can go right to the leaching process. So then you sift more, and then you just keep working on grinding the large pebbles, the large granules. And once these are ground up, they're either going to be good to go, or you throw them on the sifter, shake them around, get the granules out of that again, and you keep working on it. That's the way to get the highest quality acorn flour possible. So I've got some really fine powder in my mortar here. Just add this as well. This could obviously be any container. I'm just using my my mortar as a, another container, it doesn't really matter what it is. Okay, so this is our completed acorn sifter. You can see, really simple, just a big piece of birch bark. And all I did was scrape off the layer, and I threw, to make it clean, and I threw uh, some acorn on there, and I just, just, um, just tapped it at an angle and shifted the grain that was on there, and it separated. You know, the grains ran down, the granules ran down, and the powder came up. That's all there is to it. Now, this is how we make the, qual the highest quality acorn bread you can. <clears throat> you want to have the finest degree of powder that you can make, you know? And very, very simple to do. It's just a piece of birch bark. Um, natives used lots of different materials. It just depended on the local um, resources that you had. But they always preferred to sift the acorn, and they would just sift it so the granules landed back in the bowl, just like it did for me. And then they can continue using the mortar and pestle and pounding it, turning it into powder, throw it back on the sifter, and just keep working on that and, per and, and perfecting the powder. And they would just keep collecting the powder, putting it aside for the leaching process. Now, if you don't break down acorn to the smallest particle you can, you'll have a higher percentage of bitterness, higher percentage of tannins. So that's why this is a very valuable tool if you plan on making 
a lot of acorn and you plan on making a lot of acorn of the highest quality you can. This has been Missionary Survival. Appreciate your views, comments, your support. See you in the next one. Take care.